Hey everyone, it's your girl T Simone Fishels back at it again for another how to video for Hierarch Studios. And this week we're going to be talking about drawing black hairstyles for black characters and illustrations. So for this video, I'm going to be using, as always, my iPad Pro 2018 edition with Apple Pencil and Procreate 5X. But you can also use any drawing tablet you have if you have one, or paper, pencil, marker, crayon, whatever you got. And uh, now we're gonna get right into it. So first off, you know, you see me here just trying to get the sketch together. I'm just doing a sketch and I go ahead and get it perfected and go ahead and duplicate it because this part is not the important part, it's the hairstyle. So first I usually start by doing the hairline sideburns type thing and you know, for this afro hairstyle, I'm just gonna, you know, draw a bunch of squiggles very randomly, very loosely to kind of just get the basic structure of how an afro should look. This one is the easiest out of all of them to do. So there's that. This one's definitely the easiest. And you know, I just go ahead and darken the outline a little bit, give her a little bit of shading to make it look like she's got something nice in her fro. And then we move on to the next hairstyle. This next hairstyle at the at the beginning, I was deciding I wanted to do locks at first, and then I was like, you know what, no, let's do box braids. So, you know, with box braids, you draw them a little more straight than, than wavy. I do my locks a little more wavy. So first I just start by doing long, um, you know, long rectangular cylindrical shapes to kind of just get the basic structure of what I know box braids look like in real life. I always also use references for my hairstyle, so it's also that, you know, lots of pictures on Twitter, lots of pictures on Pinterest of just girls with box braids and things like that. I go ahead and just do X's all straight up and down every single rectangle, like from edge to edge. Just, you know, this is going to be my under sketch, so the box braids aren't going to really end up looking like this, they end up going to look a little different, of course. So after we go ahead and just get the X's all together and, you know, clean up my sketch, then I do a another layer on top of that sketch and lower the opacity of the one underneath it and just kind of round out the edges. I started doing something differently later on, like where instead of trying to loop every little piece, I do a squiggle down the middle, like the X's, and do another one on the other side and then loop the edges around each side to kind of just get the general idea of how I want it to look. So yeah, I just go ahead and keep doing that over and over again until I get all of the box braids looking to how I need them to look and you know they start to look really good and yeah so you know say we're gonna finish them out and then I'm gonna go ahead and fill in her edges a little bit um and her scalp and I go ahead and erase off some of the fill color that I dropped on there um I did blue just so you guys would see it easier instead of being brown or black or red um and I also gave her some baby hairs I'm working on drawing the baby hairs getting better at drawing edges and baby hairs and side brains and things like that to kind of give my characters a little more, you know what I'm saying, a little more flavor. So there's that. I go ahead and shade them in really nicely and, you know, give them some color and color in their eyes a little bit um, and do the skin just so you can see. Yeah. So that was that one. For this next one, I am doing two guys' hairstyles. Um, or, you know, these can also be for girls if you want to use them for girls. But I do the same thing as I did before. I started off with a nice sketch. And, you know, once I get that sketch kind of perfected, I'm, I have, I'm having a hard time right now, guys, getting my guys to look like guys and make them look less feminine, but it's okay. We're all learning here together. So there is that. I'm doing a lot of studies, uh, practice, drawing from reference, and all that jazz. So that's all I recommend for that if you need to get better at capturing likeness, references, references, references. And it also took me a very long time to, in fact, draw this facial hair. I'm not good at drawing facial hair. I tried a million times um, on this section to draw this facial hair for this specific um, sketch. And I just was trying to get the sketch done. But remember, guys, that the sketch is not the important part of this video. You know what I'm saying? This video is specifically for hairstyles. So please ignore me struggling with the sketch you see what's going on with this goatee let's not even let's not even talk about it you see how many times i changed the facial hair it's it's really sad honestly <laughs> but 
okay i just have to stop overthinking it so yeah once i get once i get it together i start you know doing my little bit of shading kind of just getting getting things to where they need to be then i go ahead and start and do the locks so for this one i did locks um instead of you know like the awesome i did box braids this one's locks um, I do long cylindrical wavy rectangles is what I call them. It's kind of like give them a little more organicness, a little waviness, a little a ruggedness to them. And they look less neat and polished than box braids. So we need to make sure they look less neat. So, you know, yeah, I just go ahead and do long cylindrical, you know what I'm saying, kind of situation here. Um, go ahead and fill in his little hairline a little bit around the locks to not make it look like he has bow locks. And then... I take a soft brush and just shade around it. And yeah, that's how we did the locks. For the next one, we are doing like a high top curly fade kind of situation. This is kind of similar to the afro, except there's no sides. You just do the strides up and down. And then a nice, you know, wavy outline for the, around the hair. And you know, yeah. I also do the same thing as before. I take the soft airbrush and do a sh light shading around the, edges of the hair and around the hairline to give it a nice little darkness and yeah so that's how you can draw a few different black hairstyles uh for your black characters and illustrations thanks again for drawing with me today guys uh, make sure you follow hierarch studios on instagram twitter and everything like that also make sure you go and vote before november 3rd because that's the last day as always, uh, stay groovy and thanks for watching.